Earthquake is the sudden and violent shaking of the ground, sometimes causing great destruction as a result of movements within the Earth's crust or volcanic action. Earth is an active place, and earthquakes are always happening somewhere. Earthquakes can vary in size from those who are so weak that they cannot be felt to those who are violent enough to throw people around and destroy entire cities. An average magnitude 2 and smaller earthquakes occur several hundred times a day worldwide Major earthquakes greater than magnitude 7 happen more than once per month. Great earthquakes, magnitude 8 and higher, occur about once a year. Ground shaking is the most familiar effect of earthquakes. It is a result of the passage of seismic waves through the ground and ranges from the quiet, gentle, in small earthquakes to incredibly violent in large earthquakes. Ground rupture is another important effect of earthquakes, which occurs when the earthquake movement along a fault actually breaks the Earth's surface. Landslides are caused by earthquakes, both by direct rupture and by sustained shaking of unstable slopes. They can destroy buildings, block roads and railroads, or take hilltop homes with them as they stumble. The gravitation and subsidence of the ground are important effects which often cause The effects of an earthquake are terrible and devastating. Many buildings, hospitals, schools, and houses are destroyed due to it. A lot of people get killed and injured. Many people lose their money and their property. It affects the mental health and emotional health of people. What should you do before an earthquake happens? So before an earthquake happens, first, you should always be alert. Then, remember the do's and don'ts of an earthquake. So after an earthquake, stay away from damaged buildings and always be prepared for the aftershocks. A typhoon is a tropical storm occurring especially in the region of the Philippines or the China Sea. It is basically a cyclone originating from the northwestern Pacific Ocean. Usually, a typhoon is accompanied by heavy rainfalls and can generate a heavy wind by up to 290 kilometers per hour. Its coverage area can expand up to 800 kilometers. The recurving path of typhoon is the most devastating, inflicting damage more than any other path. The rainfall caused by typhoon can lead to severe landslide and devastating tides. Wind and water account for the two most destructive forces associated with typhoons. Their effects range from structural damage to trees, watercraft, and buildings to both immediate and long-term impacts on human life and livelihood. Since typhoons occur in ocean's bodies and have strong winds, typhoons often bring salty sea water that can harm the crops of the farmlands. This can also cause leakage of electricity as the salt water is really conductive. The impacts of typhoons extend to the natural environment. The storms may be damaged or destroy trees and other vegetation, including crops that communities may rely on for sustenance or trade, or both. Some typhoons may destroy food supplies, stocks, and spread diseases. In communities, cuts of, of individuals may not be able to get attention of medical they need, and starvation becomes a big risk as well. Diseases and pests are often found after floods and further damage crops. This is another very devastating effect that threatens the life of the people in typhoon damaged areas. Caution is necessary. 
because typhoons can cause a great deal of damage. The destructive forces of typhoons also impact and sometimes take the lives of both humans and animals. Before a typhoon, store an adequate supply of food and clean water. Keep flashlights, candles, and battery-powered radios within easy reach. During a typhoon, stay inside the house. Always keep yourself updated with the latest weather report. After a typhoon, watch out for live wires or outlet immersed in water. Report damaged electrical cables and fallen electric posts to the authorities. A tsunami is a long high sea wave and a series of fast moving waves in the ocean caused by powerful earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. The effects of tsunamis are devastating. They are one of the world's worst natural disasters that can hit a country. Tsunamis cause the water level and water currents to rise rapidly, sometimes high enough to injure or drown people who have not yet escaped from the shore to a higher ground. Dangerous waves can follow the first tsunami wave, trapping people who return to the danger area because they thought the tsunami was over. People can be caught unaware if they don't know the natural tsunami signs. Earthquake shaking, water receding rapidly from the beach, a loud noise like a freight train coming from the ocean, or they are at the places where there are no tsunami warning system. The effects of the tsunami on the country during this period range from destruction and damage, death, injury, millions of dollars in financial loss, and long-lasting psychological problems for the inhabitants of the region. There is very little warning before tsunami hits. This means that the people living in towns and villages on the coast do not have the time to escape. Unfortunately, one of the biggest and worst effects of a tsunami is the cost of human life. Hundreds and thousands of people are killed by tsunami. Tsunami flood areas are the closest to the coast. This can cause diseases to spread in stagnant water. Illnesses such as malaria can be formed when water is stagnant and contaminated. This can cause more death and sickness. Disease can also spread from dead bodies that begin to rot while on the ground once the water is subsided. There is immediately a massive cost when tsunamis happen. Rescue teams come into the sea and the victims of the tsunami need to be treated. There is also the cost that comes from loss of earnings in the economy and also future losses as the area will be damaged for some time. Tsunami victims suffer psychology problems in the days and weeks after the destruction. This could even continue for years, often their entire lifetime. There were also people who were depressed because they had lost their loved ones, home, their money, and their business in the tsunami. Before a tsunami, you should tune into your radio to learn if there is a tsunami warning and if an earthquake occurs and you are near a coastal area. During a tsunami, you should move inland to higher ground immediately and stay away from beaches. After, you should keep tuned into your official information sources and to your local media. You should help people, especially the elderly, infants, and people with disabilities. Of all the natural disasters, fire is the only one that is both beneficial to man and his environment, as well as destructive and deadly. Fires are probably the single most important secondary effects of earthquakes. Cooking equipment is the leading cause of home structure fires and home fire injuries. Smoking is the leading cause of civilian home fire deaths. And heating equipment is the second most common cause of home fire fatalities. Accidents related to fire or explosion can be one of the most unexpected or devastating experiences that can occur in a person's life. The cause of it can be tragic and massive loss of money and lives. The results of it can be injury, property damage, and even death. 
Burn injuries are one of the most painful and traumatic injuries that a person can suffer. The effect on the victim's family is likewise devastating and permanent scars are a constant reminder of the traumatic accident. Fires, often associated with broken electrical and gas lines, is one of the most common side effects of earthquakes. Gas is set free as gas lines are broken and the spark will start bringing inferno. To complicate things, water lines are also broken and there is no water to extinguish the fire. Fires impact people, property, and the environment in all countries around the world. In some cases, the resulting losses are extraordinary, causing hundreds of deaths, widespread damage to property, and contents and significant impacts on the environment. Before a fire, you should create and practice a fire escape plan. And then, during a fire, every second count. Escape plans help you to get to safety quickly. Lastly, after a fire, stay out of fire damage home until local authorities say it is safe to re-enter. So class, I hope you learned something from the infomercial that we watched today and let us be a reminder to all of you. That's all! Class is missed. Good day class! Good day! I think I learned a lot today. I think so too. Everyone did.